let's get your team's card set up and you in control of spend. Go to the Manage Spend tab, then the Cards page. Ramp lets you control how much can be spent and how often funds reset. You can create two types of cards, physical cards for in-person purchases and virtual cards for things like subscriptions and vendor payments. To issue a virtual card, select Issue, then Virtual Card. Input what it's for, then the amount, which is the card limit. Next, the frequency in which the card limit resets, the submission policy, and you can also add additional rules in spending controls and restrictions. You can restrict certain categories or merchants. You can add a start date, a lock date, and even a max expense amount. If you need multiple users to use this card, go to the sharing drop-down and toggle. These funds can be shared with others at your company, and then select who it can be shared with. Every user will have the same limit, but have different card numbers. Let's see how these virtual cards could work. A marketing department creates a virtual card for a Facebook ads campaign in August. They'll enter the limit for the card. It will be a one-time charge. So select does not repeat as the frequency. You can also set up additional rules like adding restrictions so that this card can only be used for Facebook ads. You can set up this card so that it auto-codes to the advertising budget. By going to Transaction Coding Rules, adding an accounting rule, and selecting Advertising as the category. Then, you can select the submission policy if you have multiple submission policies. Then finally select Issue. Alternatively, you could set up a reoccurring card for something like Zoom. Zoom charges about $1,000 a month, so we'll set the amount to $1,000 and the frequency to monthly. You can then auto-code it, and you can set it for software subscriptions. Finally, you can set up other restrictions so that this card can only be used for Zoom. We recommend adding vendor-specific cards like this for additional granularity and control. If you want to skip receipts for recurring software, there is no need for a separate policy. Just go to Policy, then Global Approvals and Restrictions, and add them as auto-approved merchants. Set up vendor-specific cards to put Ramp into action.